With all these challenges about pesticides, whether they're being uh, you know, not, not available legally or if insects are evolving resistance, we're always looking for new ways. And of course, what's um, really uh, a good way to go is to look for uh, very harmless methods, even organically accepted, uh, not toxic to people, but are effective at killing insects without hurting our food or our environment. We've recently uh, hired Dr. Amy Norton as a faculty member who is a, um, an inorganic chemist and has been involved with uh, research on synthesis and also derivations uh, related to what are known as nanoparticles. And what was really interesting is she generated these tiny little particles, she'll explain it a bit, by grinding up eggshells, okay? And anything with the word nano is extremely tiny. Um, but it turns out, uh, she and I did an experiment with the red flower beetle here, and we found that the eggshells by themselves could uh, kill the beetles, most likely from uh, desiccation. And so there's interesting things there, and she can talk to you about that. His eggshells are made out of calcium carbonate, which is a, 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 can be a desiccant. And so um, I'm going to show you the process in a minute of how, t how we make these uh, nanoparticles. And so here is a picture of our, our eggshell particles. And um, like t Dr. Tom Phillips was talking, we exposed our um, adult red flower beetles to them. And so on the left is an untreated uh, red flower beetle. Um, you can see that it looks pretty normal. And then on the right here is one, and you can see the particles on the red flower beetle. And you can see that it doesn't look as good as the, uh, the untreated red flower beetle. On the adult red flower beetles, with only spinosa, they were only killing ha about half the adult red flower beetles. So with the eggshells alone, we were getting 100% kill. So we were doing better than the pesticide, that the organic pesticide. The process just starts with uh, eggshells. We dry them out in a dehydrator, and then once we get them out of the dehydrator, we just crush them up. And then we take those pieces and we put it in a ball mill. This is a nano ball mill. So at the end, we're left with a solution with our nanoparticles in there. And so uh, this has our eggshell powder in it. We've exposed the red flower beetle. We put them in these vials. And uh, there's about four milligrams in here. And we put about 10 uh, red flower beetles in here. And we get 100% efficacy. So we're using such a um, cheap commodity to um, um, eradicate the pest um, and so this could be be used very easily and so we're trying to expand upon this ideal and see if it works just as well with other um, uh, store product pests out there.